A remarkable story is happening in Australia right now that raises real questions about the ethics of the Australian government. To understand it, we need to take you back to 2017, when the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, ABC, aired an investigative report on the conduct of Australian soldiers in Afghanistan. Fast forward two years. Instead of dealing with the allegations in the Afghan files, as they are called, Australian authorities are focused on shooting the messenger, if you will. On Wednesday, police stormed the headquarters of ABC to seize emails and other documents, thousands of them. ABC executive editor John Lyons live tweeted the entire incident, starting with the police coming in the building, ironically walking under a sign that read welcome. Lyons later tweeted out a picture of police putting USB flash drives into sealed evidence bags. Authorities say the investigation concerns allegations of publishing classified material. The images of police poring over private emails inside the offices of a major broadcaster are not something we often see in a free democratic society, or we shouldn't see it. Joining me now is CNN's chief media correspondent, Brian Stelter. So how are authorities justifying this? Say that this is a legal practice, part of an important investigation, and we do have the warrants that back up the legality. We can, we can show them to you because one of those journalists at ABC took photos of the warrants, a, a multi-page long document allowing the police inside the newsroom to go through thousands of pages of documents. And, and that's exactly what happened here at the ABC newsroom in Sydney. Uh, the report, the uh, authorities were able to do database searches for terms like Afghanistan to find information uh, about the reporting that took place in 2017 about those uh, killings in Afghanistan. So these journal, the, these these police officials were going through the, the the news records of the newsroom, some of the unpublished stories, the drafts, uh, apparently looking for sources, looking for information about the leaks. It is a shocking development, Hala. We almost never see this uh, in a democratic country like Australia. It has caused press freedom groups all around the world to raise alarm bells right now. I understand they seized and poured through thousands of documents and emails. I mean, it appears as though they've left no stone unturned here to try to figure out who leaked this information to the journalists at ABC. Right, and it is notable that at the end of this multi-hour long process inside the newsroom, there was an agreement reached uh, that the federal authorities will not look at the documents uh, in detail for two weeks. That provides a two-week period for the newsroom, for, for the media company uh, to go to court and try to stop this from progressing any further. So there, there is a period of time here where, where there is some uncertainty. But to even see this raid happen in the first place is appalling. Groups like the Committee to Protect Journalists are, are calling out Australia saying this directly threatens Australia's standing as a country that respects press freedom. And the ABC, the Australian Broadcasting Network, is not the only outlet that's been targeted this week. There was also a journalist who works for News Corp uh, who had uh, yeah. her home raided the other day. Uh, she had been working on stories about spying on Australian citizens, and she had her home raided. So something very troubling happening uh, on multiple fronts in Australia this week. And by the way, the news director, Gavin Morris, had this to say about the raid. Our journalists do a really difficult job. Uh, I'm proud of the job they do. Uh, they do it in the public's interest. Uh, and journalism is not a crime. So I would say to all of the journalists at the ABC and all the journalists across Australia, uh, don't be afraid of the job you do. Stand up and be proud of it. Uh, and continue to act in the public's interest, knowing that the stories you tell and the uh, service you provide the community is a vital one for our democracy. That's all I want to say. I can't say any more at the moment, simply because, obviously, I'm, uh, I'm naming myself in the uh, so forum. Thank you, everybody. Thanks Thank for what you were doing today. So we'd all like to think that this is not a deterrent. Uh, going forward to other journalists, but it's not just the journalists, it's the journalist sources uh, who might be reluctant to come forward if they think authorities will then raid the journalist's office and uncover who the, where the leak came from.
And that chilling effect is the primary concern here. Uh, the head of the AB, uh, ABC News there said two key words, public interest. Reporting about what happens uh, in matters of war and peace are in the public interest. And there are laws in Australia that protect journalists working with sources in the public interest. But those laws are written loosely and they're being tested right now. This kind of test is happening in countries around the world. A reporter in San Francisco recently had his door knocked in by police who were trying to find out his source for a story in the United States. There are, we are seeing this in countries around the world that are democratic countries. This is the San Francisco example. Very disturbing now in San yeah. Francisco last month. These, we are seeing case after case, uh, signs that, that journalism is under attack from governments that in the past have <laughs> respected freedom of the press. Uh, this is a concern all around the world, and I think Australia right now is, con is concern number one because of this pair of incidents this week. All right, I'm glad you brought up that San Francisco story as well. This wasn't even classified. This was a police report, and they went ahead and just uh, basically uh, bust, and his name right, was Right, busted Brian down his door, and the point daughter. throughout all yeah. of this is it's in the public's interest to have more information yeah. about what the authorities are doing in our name, whether that's in San Francisco or whether that's in Sydney.